Let's write the structure for 3-ethyl-2-methyl-hexane. We'll also look at the molecular formula, and that is C9H20. So to start out with, we have hexane. When we see A-N-E on the end of the compound here, A-N-E, that tells us we have an alkane, and the carbons, they'll be single bonded to each other. Hex tells us that we'll have six carbon atoms. So we're going to have six carbon atoms single bonded. That'll be the longest chain here in our structure. So here's our hexane, and these lines here, they represent a bond to a hydrogen atom. So let's number the chain, starting with one. So we'll have six carbons, that's our hexane, and on the second carbon, we're going to have a methyl group. So a methyl group, that's just a carbon with three hydrogens. Let's put that in. Right next door to that, on the third carbon, we have our ethyl group. An ethyl group, that's two carbons bonded together with single bonds. I can either put it up here or down here. Let's move it down here to give ourselves some room. So this is our structural formula for 3-ethyl-2-methyl-hexane. We have our long chain here, hexane. And then on the second carbon, we have the methyl group. On the third carbon, we have the ethyl group. We list ethyl first because it comes before methyl in the alphabet. Sometimes you'll see this written out like this here. And again, you have one, two. So on the second carbon, you have your methyl group. And on the third carbon here, you have the ethyl group. It's right here. It doesn't really matter if we put this on the bottom or the top because these single bonds, they rotate. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 3-ethyl-2-methyl-hexane and the molecular formula for 3-ethyl-2-methyl-hexane is C9H20. Thanks for watching.